Hello everyone, this is financial author Ahmed Dan of AhmedDan.com. On this channel, you'll find financial, travel, and more videos just like the one you're watching right now. If you like what you see, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. Hello everyone, this is Ahmed Dan of AhmedDan.com. Today I'll bring you another episode of travel video from Bangladesh Dhaka and I'll be taking you to a to an outlet market where you can buy all the brand name clothes at very cheap prices. So if you uh, look at uh, the clothes you have in your closet or you're wearing, wearing uh, probably like 75 to 80 percent of them are made in Bangladesh. So we are I am in Bangladesh right now and this market is called the Nur Jahan uh, market where you'll find all brand name clothes which have been uh, rejected for very simple reasons and then you're going to be paying a fraction of the cost uh, here so the first challenge you'll be facing is uh, it's a very crowded place so you have to make it through the crowds and once you do that then you're going to have to bargain at the store so they're going to be asking you about uh, double or uh, close to double price of the pr price you're expected to pay and you have to bring it down uh, to the price you're you want to buy so here I'm gonna be buying uh, some pants and polo shirts and shirts and then I'll show you what prices I'm going to pay so for example uh, right now I'm looking at uh, a store where they sell uh, jeans and khakis and other pants so we are making through the crowds and then once you're at the store you're gonna have to look for the color or the fabric or the size you want you may not find the exact size or color at one store so you're gonna have to just you know keep looking and you may need to try several stores but once you do and once you see what you're looking for then you're gonna have to start uh, asking uh, to sell them at a lower price than the shops are asking so here i'm going to i'm looking at some uh, uh khakis and chinos and i'm going to be buying uh a, two pairs of pants and the price i'm going to be showing is actually a very good price if you compare it to the price uh, you're going to be paying in countries like usa canada or england or australia so uh here is a store and i'm going to be buying uh some pants here so they have also shirts and polo shirts and other uh, products but i'm going to be buying uh, two pairs of uh, khakis and i paid only seven to nine dollars for these however if you if i had bought these in canada i would have paid about 50 60 dollars per piece and another thing there's no taxes here uh, the main disadvantage of buying from here is that you cannot try it there's no trial room so you're gonna have to kind of guess what your size is and but if you uh, it doesn't fit when you're home then you can always return and get something else so here I'm buying a pair of uh, polo shirts and I paid only uh, five to seven dollars and again in Canada this would have cost me a lot more for example about thirty forty dollars each so I'm making through the crowds and checking for other clothes and uh, this place is a very busy place a lot of foreigners and Bangladeshis come to buy here clothes and uh, these clothes actually are a very good bargain uh, if you know how to uh, find them and or how to buy them so the next item I'm going to be buying at this store is uh, they they have they have socks and underwear underwears and uh, let's take a look at some of the items so here you can buy a buy brand name underwears for only two dollars uh, and uh, you can buy socks for one dollars or less so these items uh, I bought when I came home I didn't find any imperfections or any problems with any one of these so here i'm looking at some uh, jackets and which are not heavy jacket like we uh, use in canada but they're still good they're kind of our summer jacket or fall jacket and uh, the price is very cheap 
for example you're going to be paying only about uh, five to five dollars or six dollars uh, for these jackets which is really hard to believe so let's take a look at uh, some other jackets here and uh, they have uh, some uh, all you can find probably most of the brand name items here and uh, all of the items I checked or I bought they were in good conditions uh, there were no problems and when you buy jacket actually you can try them out because uh, it's not like pants or underwears so if you're buying like a polo shirt or jacket then they'll let you try that so here I'm buying some uh, packable lightweight uh, jackets or raincoats so these are very good items to buy because they're very light and it's very easy for me to put it in my carry-on and bring it back to Canada and uh, these packable uh, lightweight jackets I, 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 I would say that you know in Canada it would cost me about 40 50 dollars each piece but here I bought them only five dollars for each so I grabbed these two and uh, I just you know still couldn't believe it that I bought bought it for uh, so cheap prices at uh, this location and uh, then uh, I'm going to be checking some shirts and uh, other items so the same store had lots of pants and uh, different types of jackets and then the next item I bought was uh, the jeans and these are brand name jeans and you can easily buy one for uh, about 12 13 dollars and you you'll see like you know most of the brands you know uh, some of the brands i didn't know but i had a feeling that you know these brands probably they they're not uh, not meant to be for north america brian they were for uh europe or other countries but still they're very good quality and very cheap price so some shirts I bought uh, picked up some uh, long sleeve shirts although I was looking at some short sleeves but then later I decided not to you know buy short sleeves because I don't wear them that often so I bought uh, I believe one Kelvin Klein and other uh, brand name long sleeve shirts and each cost me about ten dollars which is uh, unbelievable because if you buy the same thing in Canada you'd be paying about forty fifty dollars and then uh, you have to pay the taxes but here there's no tax there's no nothing so I, I grabbed about two shirts as well and then uh, there's some more chinos and khakis and they're seven ten dollars seven to eight dollars actually per piece and uh, I saw most of the brands I know uh, there so I bought two before and two now so altogether I bought four pairs of uh, khakis or chinos so this place is uh, very good if you go to Bangladesh or Dhaka to get some uh, brand name clothing if you like what you see please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing and there will be more videos coming up so I'll see you shortly thank you